Hey Aries Collective, it's Raven, also known as the Empress Oracle, here to bring you a quick moment of divine insight, insight straight from your ancestors and angels. So this reading is mediumship focused, it's not as uh, leaning towards the astrological times right now. So let's just tap in with your ancestors and see what they got for you. So right now you're showing up as the three of baskets as well as the six of baskets. And so collaboration, linking with like-minded people, kindred souls, rekindling an old flame. Um, you know, it's also giving this energy of like you have done a lot of work with forgiving your past or healing from your past. But it's a lot of coming together right now. A lot of coming together. You are in the space of connecting collabing um i'm really trying to get this to focus and i don't know if i can connecting collabing doing the things as well as rekindling old flames um things of that nature um your energy feels very good and at the top of this deck we actually have exploring unity consciousness so that could just be something that you are experiencing at this time on deeper levels and so kudos to you i feel like you have done some great work since uh since i last tapped in with y'all's energy it feels like it, your energy has evolved um you've definitely experienced a lot of like ego deaths is what i'm hearing and so it gives like this very much so um good karma here for you at this time is what i'm feeling so what healing mantra do we have for the Aries Collective at this time? But it's definitely feeling like good times, good karma. Um, you're, you're outside again. Um, you're coming back to life. You're connecting and creating, you know? Growing beyond guilt is what came out. It couldn't have happened any other way. So obviously what I'm leaning in liberating love is also here for you. So obviously what I'm picking up is pretty accurate. But yeah, it couldn't have happened any other way. Growing beyond guilt. So maybe you were experiencing guilt um, in regards to how maybe a relationship or a connection did or did not come to pass. Come to pass in the past. And I want to let you know the energy is going gonna, is gonna to double back. Double that you're probably spinning a block on a few things right now too, as far as like connecting with people that when you were in this space, um, the energy wasn't really resonant and now it's it's circling a block. Like a lot of things are coming together. And I feel like this liberating love energy is what you're is a byproduct of all of this work that you've put in. And so yeah, you're growing beyond guilt, realizing it couldn't have happened any other way. So um let's see if you have any energy blocking you. Oh flew on out we have the father of baskets so the um king of pentacles um and i honestly feel like this is giving more of a contemplative energy i feel like your ancestors are wanting you to look more at what it is that you are going to continue to say yes to and give your energy to i feel like you're in a state of where you could really be blessing other people's lives be a blessing to other people and they want you to be mindful of who you are saying that you are going to bless um something of that nature but the generosity the that energy of generosity as well as like building your empire as well as like being a leader for your community for your collective all of that right now is coming up for you um at this time and so grow beyond the guilt grow beyond the, you know how you thought it should have looked and how you thought it you know was gonna go in that type of energy um continue to move past that by liberating love um uplifting yourself with the energy and frequency of love. I feel like your ancestors are really on some like, um, I'm hearing that song again with that Capricorn reading. It's over now. Like a lot of that, um, the storm is over now is what I'm channeling for you. So come together, connect and grow and understand like you're, you're building your legacy at this time, okay? So don't let thoughts of temporary satisfaction, don't let, you know, thoughts of lack or um, doubt penetrate you at this time to potentially trip you up in regards to this King of Pentacles energy 
that is that that is floating around you at this time. I feel like it hasn't been anchored in and you're about to lean into it, uh, leaning into what it means to be the provider, the protector, the I'm hearing like thought leader, the um torch bearer. It's like a, it's giving like a passing of a baton, like you're next up. Do not allow thoughts of the past, um, how you think things should have went to block you from this very abundant and generous energy that is here. So what action should the Aries collective take? And I love how y'all's y'all's energy is very matter of fact. It has been very matter of fact. And I feel like um, a lot of Aries has really been tapping and doing the work of connecting with your angels and your ancestors. So I feel like, again, this is like, this message came out so clear and so nail on the head because you have been, you've been in this space of wanting to know what's, what you're up against and what's next and how to go, how to grow from here. So let's see the action. What, what action should the Aries take knowing this now? What action? What line of action best supports the truth that has been revealed in this moment for the Aries collective? You want card? Okay. There we go. Dang, two cards came out. So we have the Emperor and the Seven of Sticks. <laughs> and the Emperor is your card. This is giving. Tap in and defend your empire. Tap in and guard your ground. Stand your ground. Don't blend in. It's given like, take up space, mark out your territory, it reigns supreme. Your folks is like, you was, you was built for, you was made for. It's a, it's a matter of you taking what's yours and knowing that you are prepared and that you are ready. And again, you're going beyond the guilt. It couldn't have happened any other way. It was always chosen. So what you going to do about it? And it's and it's given. I'm stepping up to the plate. It's given the full embodiment. So for for the Emperor card to come out and Aries is the that is your card in the traditional tarot, along with the Seven of Sticks. It's like I'm going to I'm going to stand in I'm going to stand in my truth and I'm allow it to guide me. I'm going to be ten toes ten toes down and all that I say that I am. And move and move like that. That's the action to take. And I love that for you. I truly do. All right, let's get a message from your angels. Recovery. Recovery. So I, I love this energy because to me, it aligns perfectly with this three baskets and a six of baskets. Like you spin in the block on some things. You are recovering all that was, it's given again, like um, all that was took from me. What is that gospel song? Uh... You get it all back tenfold. You're getting what's your what was what's always been yours. Um, and I'm hearing like you're leaving no crumbs on the table this time. It's it's giving like that true I am evolved energy, like real talk. Like it is giving everything, everything right now. And it's just like you're ready. Your angel saying, look, what's blocking you is perspective. Keep your eyes on your birthright. Keep your eyes and your energy attuned to all that is, all that is, all that was, what is that gospel song? All that is meant for me. Like, you, you getting it. You, you coming back and you claiming it. You feel what I'm saying? Victory is yours. Victory is here. You got this. Your folks is like, Coming back, kicking ass, and taking names. I'm getting all that was left left for me. It's giving this great energy of trials from trials to tribulations, like your test into your testimony energy right now, Aries. So shout out to you for overcoming whatever it is that you overcame. 
and may peace may peace blessings and harmony you know be bestowed upon you as you go back as you go back for what's rightfully what was yours but stay connected to your folks because your folks is letting you know um they got you they got your back and that you are you're ready it's a it's a time of just divine embodiment um stay your ground and move forward knowing that you already won and you're literally recovering it's like it's, it's giving i'm giving all that was left to me i'm I'm, claiming, I'm coming back and i'm claiming it so um that's the answers from your ancestors and your angels if you like this reading and it was resonant to you and for you let me know in the description box below um we're we're leaning into the baths at this time but for some reason invigorate this bath and invigorate which is a body butter as well as opulence opulence will be really good for you at this time it is this um tobacco vanilla scented body butter but this energy of opulence is around you at this time and i feel like leaning into these two these two energies like this is a grounding bath and this is probably like one of the most robust scents in the shop and i feel like um it'll really help you at this time you are definitely in a space of getting all that you know you that you deserve for real for real but you have to know that you are worthy of it and that embodiment of like stand ten toes on who you are and, and move forward with what you are what you have been called to do what you have been called to do again it couldn't have happened any other way it couldn't have happened any other, any other way so be grateful for all the lessons and blessings and all things in between because it got you to where you are now and where you are headed can't nobody stop you okay so if you like this message let me know in the description box everything else you need is also below in the links and i'll catch y'all in the next video